we're testing our new system so that we can go live in lots of different places at once and uh, it's sort of saying that this event, uh, yeah, we're live on our DFS social, Angela. Um, I'm gonna check and see your Facebook and see if we're live there. And we should be live on YouTube, but I, we don't really know. So we're gonna have to make this, we're, you're all so patient with us, um, with our lives and with our testing of our videos. We really do, do honestly appreciate it. Yes, we are live on Facebook at the same time as we are live on our website. Woohoo! And I want to give a shout out for a great magazine. So Angela, I subscribe to this for Angela and it's called Uppercase Magazine. I just want to, I, Janine and I are, we are friends via online. We chat online a lot and uh, we see each other in a Zoom sometimes once a month. And it's a magazine for the creative and the curious. And it's a really, really beautiful magazine. So it comes in, and I don't even open it. I put the package right on your desk, don't I, Angela? You do. I do. But today, I looked at this one, and I said, can you bring me in the old copies? <laughs> <laughs> Just so I can go over them some. But it is, so if you're not subscribing to Overcase Magazine, I think, yeah, you really should. It's just... It's awesome, and I associate um, I associate it with paper and graphic design. But she has she has she's done a book about yarn. She's done a book about quilting, and there's all every art and craft that you can think of is in here. And when she says for the creative and the curious, that's truly what it is. So come on in to my studio, and I'm going to show you. This is con this this we were thinking of notes for the new year. This is a palette that Angie's making, but I want to I want to I want to change it a little bit. She's calling it spice cabinet, but I think I think it needs a green. And I know I don't think oregano is a spice, Angela. I think oregano is a herb, but there must be a green spice out there. And if you know there's a green spice out there, maybe this. you can comment and tell us. But I also think it needs a. A really bright yellow so we're working on that this rug this rug is on sale on the website I just want you to know that it's half price I've had it for about three years and um, it's called under the arches and we had a teal one that went with it and so you can have it framed or on framed but it is on my website now come on in because I started something big and all our lives for the next Probably, well, usually our lives are on Thursday, right? So we're going live from our website. And you'll still be able to watch it on Facebook. And hopefully on YouTube. Should I check and see if we're on YouTube? Sure. If we're going live on YouTube right now? Because I don't really know. And then I'm going to show you what I'm doing on there. Let's see if we're going live on YouTube. Who knows? Wouldn't it be great if we were? <laughs> be great. Wouldn't it be great? Oh, uh, we are not. We have still done something wrong. Or maybe... We go live somewhere else on YouTube and we don't know where it is. I'm just gonna go over here and see under the create, go live. We're still gonna have to share it to YouTube, I think. Oh, we are live, it's showing live. It's live now on YouTube. It's streaming live. But I don't know why it's not, maybe it shows up later, we'll have to see. So I just wanna show you, because this rug is the tiniest little rug and it's called the garden at 10 p.m. Somebody's calling probably to tell us that we're live everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> this, look at this little rug. Isn't that the sweetest? That is adorable. Rug? It is adorable. And it's called, um, it's, I, wanna, I was going to say live at 10 p.m. It's called the garden at 10 p.m. And it's just the sweetest little garden. And there's a little bit of Jersey. You know, the factory that we used to get the Jersey from burnt down. So that's why we can't get it anymore. Isn't that sad? Uh, we had a source of all this jersey, and now it's all all burnt. And um, this little this little rug is kind of an inspiration for the big rug that I'm doing. So I have this desire to have an enormous rug, and it's quite a long time since I made a rug this size. So it is really big, and it's based on two things. When I so when I was a kid, I was, I'm very nosy and curious, right? That's my nature. I just, I'm just a nosy person. Well, I'm a curious person. I'm not nosy. Like, I don't want to know bad stuff about people, but I am a very curious person. So yesterday, I was at my son's house, and he lives in town. And, and I was waiting for them while they were getting ready. And God, I went to every window, and I would look out the window, and I thought, oh, they're going to, all the neighbors here are going to think this, 
there's a, like a nosy person in the window. So I went through that window and I looked out and then I went through another window, like three different windows. And I was just standing in the window looking out. And it made me remember when I was a child, I was constantly in the window. And I just remember like there was this man who lived up the hill and his name was Pete Smith. And he had like, which was very unusual for 1970s in Newfoundland. He had very long hair and it was bald on top, but he had very, very long hair. And I remember my father used to say kind of disgustedly, why doesn't he cut his hair? But I used to watch him like walking down the hill. And of course the wind was always blowing and, and he'd be walking to church in his suit and all tidied up and, and his long hair. And I would be watching who was going to the store and who was going into the church. Or if there was a wedding down at the church, I was always looking out that window and I was always watching this particular view that I'm hooking today. And, um, and, and then when I came here, when I had the house, so this is kind of how rugs develop and designs develop. I had the house, before my husband started mowing the lawns all the time, the field was just full of goldenrod. So this is what I'm hooking here and you can see so this is kind of going to be goldenrod and I'm a little worried about these because when I start hooking in behind here, I don't know if the yellow is going to be thick enough. So I'm going to put a lot of yellow in behind here, but I've taken the liberty of sort of blending two of my lives, two of parts of my lives in, in this design. And I'm really loving the leaves on the goldenrod. So this rug is 36. 36 and 21. What's that? 36 and 21 is 57. Oh, that's what I guessed too. About 57 by about 57. And so it's not quite five feet by five feet. I thought it was even bigger. I do have one set of longer rods. I'm going to show you what I've got on here. And one of the challenges of hooking a bigger rug, one of the challenges of hooking a bigger rug is that it's hard to keep it really taut on here. So I've taken the visits out the window because yesterday when I was in my son's window, I thought, oh, I can't be doing this here because people are gonna, you know, they won't like, people don't like it if you're always in the window, I don't think. Or, and I don't see people in the windows anymore like I used to. I suppose there's more to watch on TV. There's more going on on Netflix and everything else. And we're not watching out our windows the way we used to. I'm curious if you're, if you're window, if you, are you in the window? Do you get in your window, Angie, or you live in the woods? I live in the woods. Yeah. But do you look out the window much? Oh, I do. Yeah. Cause I, my beautiful trees. Yeah. You have, that's those, what I see. Cause you I have, have those gorgeous yeah. Norwegian pines. Yeah. But I remember back when my grandmother would always be on a rocking chair by a window. Yeah. And her friends, everybody were all, they were always in rocking chairs looking out the window. Yeah, that's what they did. I mean, yeah. that was like part, it was like part of our social life. Who was going up and down the hill? Who was going to the store? Who was driving up and down the road? Whose dog was yelp bark, you know? <laughs> so in here, I have the view of sort of the view the way it was at our beach, right? And I've drawn it on here. So I've taken um, this field and I've sort of put it in another place, right? And then at the top, if you looked at my rugs last week, you'll see I had all these birds. And I, I'm working on one now at home too where the flowers morph into birds. So I put the birds in here. But I've reversed the, the, the hills. And we, I li where I lived, there was a, a hill called Crevicure. And so this is kind of Crevicure. And then this is kind of the beach. But where, when I actually looked out the window, the beach was over here. But it doesn't matter, you know. It doesn't really matter. But you can see the size of this rug. It's going to be really enormous. So on our lives, we're going to be working on those for, I think, the next... I, How long is this going to take, Angie? It's not going to happen in a week, is it? You hooking? <laughs> it might. <laughs> No, I'm going to be pretty dedicated to this project and I think I am going to do some big pieces and I'm looking at this space here and this empty space and I'm thinking this space needs um, a really large rug. So I'm thinking about that and, and of course right now we're spending on here in Nova Scotia, we're spending a lot of time in our homes and I'm going to spend a lot of time at the studio and I'm just so excited to bring you this extra live on Thursday. Um, uh, th this extra live today on Monday and it's that it's streaming in several places at one time 
we're, we're excited to be able to bring it to you right on our website. And I think the picture is going to be quite a bit better. I think you're really going to see a lot of, a lot of uh, difference in the quality of the picture. So I'm glad I unrolled that for you because now it's tautened up a bit. So let's hook some of those leaves and I'll give you a little lesson on a skinny leaf because we don't have much room here for the leaf, right? So now why did I choose three different colors for the leaves? Well, every rug I make, I try to do something a little bit different and a, a little bit better, right? Try to make that maybe I'll get better with the color, but they don't, it doesn't always work. But I try to get better with the color sometimes. And this one, I kind of want to expand my palette a bit. I don't want it to just be royal against gold. I want it to be something different than that. So for the stem on this, I'm going to use the thick, the, the four ply yarn, right? And you can see when I'm hooking that stem and that flower, I want it to be natural. Now, in real life, we know that the stem is green, right? We know that, but that's okay. It's not real life. It's a rug. It's a hooked rug. God, it's just its own little magical world that we, that we make. And then because the leaves are tiny, I'm going to use a skinnier yarn, a two-ply. Whoops, I hooked the skin on my thumb. I'm always doing that. Look at that thumb. So, so tender. Okay. So I'm very excited that we're able to bring you this live today in multiple places. And that may just work out beautiful for us. We won't always be able to see your comments right on, but please do comment and share your videos, these videos, because we know the story. When you share rug hooking, you never know what you're sharing. You can be sharing community, friendship, companionship, um, solace, you know, there's all kinds of all kinds of things that come with making. The thing is, I think I need a real striking color for these leaves to stand out. This is gonna be a hard rug to make. So I'm gonna use a really skinny yarn. Your arm's getting tired, Angela, holding that camera? Nope. You all right? I'm good. I've been out of a little bit of practice, but I'm okay. You've got a little bit of practice, don't you? Angela just had a week off, and I can't tell you what she did. <laughs> <laughs> she had a good week. <laughs> she just really enjoyed herself. Didn't you, Ange? We did. You did. You and Rich were both home. Both home, both playing board games. Yeah. Eating terribly. Great. Having a few libations. Oh, nothing like it. I had a bottle of wine last night and it was from uh, Francis Ford Coppola's estate ah! or on New Year's Eve I opened it and it was beautiful. Nice. Yeah, and, and I didn't have the whole bottle. There's still some there, but I just, there's lots there actually. I had a couple glasses, so. Just, just defending myself here. <laughs> Why I need to, I don't know. But anyway, uh, it was delicious. And I just found it interesting. And Robert was telling me that he watches a lot of old movies. And on the movie channel, they're always, uh, he said they're always selling wine of famous people. So famous people a lot of times like to start wineries. It must be like a thing, a hobby. Yeah, I know a few famous people that have wineries. Yeah, yeah, it's it's something that I guess it's something that a lot of people are interested in. A lot of people love wine, so I think that this color will be striking enough to strengthen the background. I'm hoping that it will be right there, just like that. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, so please with these lives. You can go to the website, 
We'll still be streaming on other other things. I don't know how you find it on YouTube yet. We'll figure that out. Um, we'll be streaming on uh, DFS Social, which is our own private social community where we answer questions about our workshops and our kits and things like that. And we'll be streaming on the website. So you can just watch right at hookingrugs.com anytime you want under lives. And uh, of course, we will also stream on Facebook because you have been watching us here for a long time and we appreciate that. And you can share the video from any of those things. And I just want to show you one thing that I've done here and I'll probably show you some of this again on Thursday. These are the forget-me-nots that I used to pick in the ditch. I have a lot of love for forget-me-nots. Well, who can't love the title? Who, I mean, we want to be remembered, don't we, all of us? We want to be you know, remembered by those who care about us. But when my kid, my child was little, uh, when my children were little, they would bring home the preschool that they went to. She gave them little forget-me-nots to plant, and, and I love that. So they're still kicking around, uh, around our yard. And when I was little, I just couldn't believe how such a, there was a lot of beautiful flowers that grew in the ditch around home, these and um, irises. And uh, I don't remember goldenrod so much at home, but I know it is a flower in Newfoundland. But I just want you to pay attention to the fact that in the goldenrod, I used like about five or six different yarns. So, and in, in each one, I used the same yarn, but each goldenrod head is a different yarn. And sometimes there'll be two the same together, and then sometimes they'll be different. So just like painting, you know? And it's same within these little blue flowers, these little forget-me-nots, there's four or five or six different blues and a couple of different yellows in the center. And and even in outlining the leaves here, I've used different yarns. And that that's important. That's gonna make the whole rug palette sing together better. So that's my story for today. I hope you saw us in one of the places where we're live, and I hope you share, because we really appreciate it when you do. And thank you very much. I'm Deanne Fitzpatrick, and I'm from hokingrugs.com. That's my little, uh, that's my little place where I live, at hokingrugs.com. So you can find us there. See you later. Thanks, Anne.